Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading and it will be for May 2021 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well. This, because I'm releasing these early, it can resonate from now to the end of May 2021 as well. As always, take what, resonate, take what resonates with you. So let's pull your overarching card. What do we have for Aries? Love, romance, relationships, please. For Aries... May 2021, please. What does Aries need to hear the most? Thank you for getting some answers, maybe. Or giving an answer. Can also be answers from the universe as well. Blessings. So I'm going to pull three cards. Then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Aries. Thank you. May 2021. What do we have for Aries? Three of Swords in the challenge position. Knight of Cups. Nine of Coins. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Aries. Thank you. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands. The Four of Wands is clarifying the Knight of Cups. And the Queen of Wands, there's you Aries, is clarifying the Nine of Coins. Bottom of the deck is the High Priestess, lovely energy. I feel you'll be giving an answer to somebody or they're going to be giving an answer to you. Or you're getting the answer that you want. Because this is either you or somebody else. It feels like there is... It, feel, it feels either I'm getting an energy here Aries of, of new love coming your way the three of swords is is generally heartbreak hurt um, a difficult truth to deal with that cuts you deeply you know, but the, in the challenge position, you're releasing from that. And that's what the Knight of Wands is telling you. You know, and I, I see this as about getting back on the horse, taking the reins of your life, charging ahead. A card of inspired action, going for something now. Uh, it doesn't feel like this Three of Swords is holding you back anymore. The Knight of Wands is generally, I'm getting back on the horse and I'm moving on from a difficult situation and leaving it way behind me. I'm not interested in what's gone. I'm interested in what's ahead, where my passion, where my desire, where I want to take action towards now. You know, the Knights are always on a quest and it feels for some of you there's that you're on a quest. And it's a quest to move on from a situation that doesn't serve you anymore. Now, the Four of Wands is uh, it's a celebratory energy. It can also, you know, in this energy, I, I see a new door opening for you as well. The Four represents stability, security, foundational energy. With the Knight of Cups, this could be an offer of a new relationship or an offer of uh, next level commitment of a relationship. You know, it could be moving in together. Um, you know, this is the Happy Home card you know, as well. But it can be celebration. It can be to do with a, a reason to celebrate here. Um, it's a celebratory energy, the Four of, of Wands. Essentially, it feels like a, it's a joy. It's a, it's a card of joy, a card of um, happy, warm energy, a card of harmony as well. 
and certainly being the 11 11 card which is people from the other side guiding you sending you messages symbols answers it definitely feels you're being guided to be exactly where you are meant to be here and it feels to do with a relationship so the knight of cups is bringing change and it feels like someone is offering you or expressing love to you a new level of harmony coming into your life and joy areas is what i'm feeling because you are you know even though i feel for some of you either you've dealt with this energy or this other person has dealt with this energy so you know these readings generally pick up on you or the other person in this love equation but the nine of, of coins is is definitely you because we have the clarified with the queen of wands which is you male or female energy but this is somebody who is standing in their own self-worth self-esteem and their own success they can provide financially for themselves they stand alone and feel pretty good about it you know this is somebody who may be independent may be on their own may have recovered from a difficult situation this could be you um but they're ready to move on and go for something now you know it feels like this queen has her eyes on something new new love and this is about knowing what you deserve having the relationship that you deserve having the love that you deserve you know all of that kind of energy and that high priestess is is it might well be you're keeping certain things to yourself you know an element of secrecy here you know not revealing everything all at once but you know she is also an energy of you are being guided to the path that you're being on you know through your intuition you know the queen of wands is somebody who trust the intuition and we have the intuitive energy here she acts on the intuition she takes action she goes for something that instinctively feels right and it definitely feels in this energy there is an offer an opportunity someone expressing their feelings to you that it feels like it's opening a new door of joy and harmony in your life and you're just not even in, I don't think anyone's interested in what this three of swords is it's just way behind it's almost kind of like you know I'm I'm interested in what's ahead and this is what you're moving towards so it feels like you'll be asked to give an answer to somebody or them to you um, I'm definitely getting in this this situation this is about what you deserve um, having the relationship that you deserve and not settling for less with that three of swords energy so yeah, I feel for some of you, you'll be getting an answer or, or, or saying, giving an answer to somebody. So Aries, let's pull a final card for you. It feels like somebody is wanting an answer from you or you from them. You're, there's an offer on the table. <laughs> it feels like to do with offers of the heart. Um, and it definitely feels in this energy that it's something that's worth your consideration and time. It, it feels like there's a new door opening for you in love. Knight of Cups offers love. It's, it might have, you know, there could have been, you weren't sure how somebody felt about you and then they're expressing how they feel. Because there's an undercurrent energy with some of these energies. Uh, and they're finally revealing their truth. They finally express their feelings. yeah you are the light i definitely feel that they're expressing their feelings you are the light it is safe to step fully into your light here aries it feels very beautiful let's pull one more panther protection consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely you know that's interesting between the cards on the table because i definitely see in this energy you're not interested in the negative anymore you're interested in what is going to bring you positive energies and growth and optimism in your life and there's definitely new love coming there though so it's, it feels very beautiful i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you all and i will see you next time thank you